Africa Day for us represents the best in Africa. It reminds, it's, it's a celebration of decolonization well, when all African countries uh, attained independence from uh, former colonialists. It represents an occasion for us to celebrate our cultures, the diversity of our cultures, the richness of our cultures. As you saw, there are lots of beautiful fashion shows from, made from African cloth, made of Afri uh, uh, with African models. Uh, so, it, and it also gives us a chance to celebrate the steps we've made so far since the uh, Africa um, Organization of African Unity first in 1963 was formed and then the African Union. So it gives us a chance to also look at how far have we gone, how, what we celebrate, the steps we've made. I think if you look across the continent, there's been some... Um, development when it comes to peace and security uh, the, uh, it's also as you heard today is a chance to to think together and to work towards our vision 2063 it has a 10-year plan so really it's an occasion where we sing and dance we break we break bread together and really just a chance to remind us that even though we are so many countries on the continent uh, 55 countries. At the end of the day, when you look at us, we share a lot of uh, things in our culture. We share a lot of challenges, but we also share a lot of opportunities. It is a day on which we reflect on our past and share perspectives on how we should work towards a better tomorrow for ourselves and the continent and particularly for our children. We need to work together as one people to ensure we attain an environment that supports our vision for social economic development for all, peace and security, political stability, enhanced integration, and free movement of people, free movement of goods and services, and a population that is healthy. This are aspects that are captured in our aspirations under Agenda 2063, which have brought a renewed hope and buoyance to our people to yearn for a better life. <laughs>